Back in June, Jane's Intelligence Review ran a feature uh, in which we, using satellite imagery analysis, uh, identified a new uranium hexafluoride facility. Um, this was at a plant in India, in Mysore, in the southwest of India. Um, and our experts sat down to, to analyze this and to, to work through all of the calculations. And based on that, um, they estimate that the, the plant at Mysore um, will be operational by mid to late 2015. Now, the significance of the new UF6 plant is that it supports uh, further uranium enrichment in the Cascade Halls at Mysore. And the question then is what this is actually being used for. So clearly the plant is not declared to the IAEA, it's not subject to IAEA inspections. And our analysts believe that there are two possible routes that this uh, uranium, enriched uranium uh, could be intended for. One is to actually support uh, an increased naval reactor capability within the Indian Navy. Uh, the Indian Navy obviously is expanding quite rapidly. And also there would potentially be an excess production, uh, we think in the range of about 160 kilograms of highly enriched uranium, that could possibly be di diverted towards uh, a thermonuclear weapons capability. So all in all, this development is actually quite significant, uh, and we think it's quite instructive that following the release of this imagery, uh, and we advertise it also through the media, um, that the Indian government subsequently ratified an additional protocol with the International Atomic Energy Agency uh, that it had originally um, mooted in 2009. Now these developments are obviously quite significant because of the nuclear rivalry between Pakistan and India, and indeed China as well. Um, there is an unspoken de facto nuclear arms race between Pakistan and India. Um, both sides possess somewhere in the region of about 100 uh, nuclear weapon devices based on highly enriched uranium. India probably slightly fewer than 100, Pakistan probably slightly more. So the significance of this is it's potentially another indicator of a ratcheting up of the, uh, the nuclear programs on both sides of the border. Uh, and the fear there is obviously that both sides could be moving um, towards development of larger strategic thermonuclear devices. There's also the possibility on the Pakistani side uh, that they're also looking at the development of smaller tactical nuclear devices. Um, which would obviously be to try and dissuade uh, India's larger uh, conventional military capability. Back in January, for example, we also released satellite imagery showing uh, the Kundian fuel uh, production facility, uh, that's in Pakistan, uh, and there we identified two new factories which hadn't previously been seen, hadn't previously been disclosed, which again may, and I highlight it, so it's very hypothetical, may be used for um, producing greater amounts of fuel. So apparently on both sides there is uh, a desire, potentially a program, to actually move towards a greater number of nuclear weapons and at the same time both sides are looking at delivery mechanisms for those, those weapons. Uh, for example on India's side um, they have uh, a nuclear submarine which is undergoing sea trials at the moment uh, which will be the first in class of uh, nuclear submarines with a ballistic missile launch capability. Thank <laughs> you.